This is a piece of 4140 heat treated stress relief. Uh, just over 8 inches in diameter. Yeah, I'm uh, an inch too long. I didn't realize that when I put it in the lathe. And I need to face off an inch of material. I'm taking a couple of passes. And I'm going to take a quarter inch wide pass, I guess you'd say. I'm running at 355 RPM, a 21 thou per rev feed rate. Um, the tool is advancing across the work at 21 thou per rev. And uh, gives a material removal rate, at least at the start of the cut, of about 46 cubic inches a minute. some pretty hot chips that stuck to my glass case you can see the burn marks from other ones that went down in my pocket into my glass case pretty nasty after I did the cut um, I decided to see what kind of horsepower that cut was taking um, it turns out the metal removal rate was about 46 cubic inches per minute. Um, I went on Kenna Metal's website. That's not whose insert I'm using, but that's whose uh, information was available. For roughing with carbide inserts in 4140 heat treated stress relieved, use a specific horsepower of 0.77 horsepower per cubic inch per minute. Using that metal removal rate gives you a horsepower of 35.7 horsepower. Now, this lathe only has 20 horsepower, but somehow it managed to do that cut. Um, I think it's a number of things. One, you can overload electric motors. I don't know if you want to overload them to close to twice their horsepower or not. But uh, the other thing is, is that as this cut proceeds, the horsepower will drop off because the torque required for this cut decreases as the tool moves closer to the center of rotation. So that uh, high horsepower value is only needed at the beginning and then it'll drop off. Um, I also would think that the uh, inertia in the chuck would help. There's a fair amount of uh, stored energy in that large chuck. It's uh, 28 inches in diameter and weighs just, I think it's about 750 pounds. It's like a big flywheel. Uh, so I would expect that that would help somewhat too. Uh, I don't think I would be able to carry out a cut like that along the length of the shaft for very long uh, because eventually all the power required for that cut would be supplied by the motor. The inertia of the chuck would not have anything to do with it and uh, you may find out that the motor would trip out. Uh, but for a facing cut, um, it was able to do it. Um, it's a little uh, intense. I was holding the camera by hand. I was a bit shaky because I was trying to avoid the hot chips. They're, uh, they burn like crazy. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.